Welcome everyone to another Linux live stream here, packaging and updating the latest state of the art. Today, of course, Firefox 105. So new it doesn't even have a change log, which I always find a little bit puzzling, but as far as I've seen, also yeah, they've change log they didn't write yet somewhere. Oh there. Um, also for developers even so yeah still preparing the reason notes. I, I always wonder how they can develop some weeks and not have reason notes but uh, also of course some new sites report early oh cool no file to patch that is off to a good start right um, that is a recurring so yeah as usual we do hear all the stuff which as usual is a little bit at times annoying. Also LVM 1501 maintenance bug fix releases are out. Which data already being data partially updated that I need to partially revert that because we're not shipping that yet. And welcome everyone who are new to this channel. We are working on our T2 system development environment that is just raw mostly vanilla except we're patched to actually freaking work TM Linux. Um, so yeah, that is if you have some package patches and fixes, then uh, of course you have some. Do we have more than? Oh wait, I don't know if I have to patch. Um, so that is all third party of that stuff. Oh wait, is it 480? Don't tell me that is. Is this truly 486? What do we patch in there even? Yeah, it is possible. So yeah, we would need to check where that is. Now let's maybe... Okay, let's trim that. And then it's empty, then let's see what else builds or doesn't. Oh, and did, did I mention I have a new microphone for reasons? Um, the other one I still have here. I basically just wanted a second one um, to have a backup. Oh, this is interesting. I didn't expect. Okay, fine. Then we delete it. I thought it applies. Didn't know they have a sanity check, but that certainly makes somewhat sense, potentially. So leave in the comments below if you hear any difference in audio. Is, is it better or worse? I only tested it briefly. It's also two vendors, so it's a, it's a different one, different model, different vendor. So Leave in the comments below how you like that. I wonder if it's slightly less background noise for some reason. Okay, maybe that was the only patch. But it's always a recurring thing. How much did they change that things break? Maybe they removed that. I think that's it. Lexington, right? Did I? A lexicon. Target lexicon. Oops, I searched that wrong. Good that we double checked that. But maybe also not. So maybe they replaced there some vendor code with. Or they pulled us now from cargo, which wouldn't help us much. But uh, I guess we will see them next time we build for 386. But today we of course built for AMD x86-64 version 3. And that builds so far, so so far so good. Then we can continue also with packaging some GIMP stuff, right? Last night we stopped at GIMP, the other open source imaging program that we would want to use next to Inkscape. Um, also, I think we have some MyPaint. Also, did we not have some MyPaint stuff? If that is new. Hmm. Let's emerge that and then let's maybe double check if there really is not 
I really would love a new version. I really would love directory listings that actually freaking as oh, this is GitHub should just not with no prefix and stuff. Yeah. Okay, that is up to I slightly wonder. Oh, don't tell me they. Uh, it could be that our load is a little bit high. Not the most high. Oh, well, did we deny something? I wonder now if my paint needs some of my paint. So I, I wonder how like the prominent open source image manipulation thing um, can require Digital paint, I think, although maybe that is a dedicated digital painter library. Is this some, is this some brush simulation or what is that even? So that is funny, the website does not start with a board. Okay, my paint does not build any more, 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 more. So I guess they factored some stuff out. We probably updated that without really testing that. A recurring theme here. There's some brush packages. So probably we need all of those three things as well. At least a tiny win-win here of all the epic thread ripping testing. What would it be? Graphics or so? And that would be lip my paint. And brushes, I with my paint brushes. So it looks to me that previously this was one package and now it was split into individual ones. And welcome everyone, and as always, looking to your comments, share, like, and subscribe, super chats, or Similar stuff. Oh, just checking my stream health. So lip my paint desk. So that one's fix. And get my paint. Maybe I should have used our scripts to do that. and that is 161 even One three one. So I, saw, I think I saw the unstable, unstable brushes. Oops, typo. What is it already? Brush. So yeah, Firefox is surprisingly, usually we have more. I mean, we had one forty-six patch. Usually we have even more stuff that fails to apply. Probably. So that leads a little bit earlier. The brushes maybe too. And 
and very theoretically we should upgrade update this Um, so that's other brushes and this is lip brush library come on you can load it hey zero frames I wonder if after three years of complaining and open tickets Vodafone finally has fixed the doxus segment here That is funny, they say, say ISC here. Why is this previously ISC? Doesn't look right. Also, they had here one. So, brushes and uh, whatever. Um, I wonder what is the license of the brushes then? That is different. So let's make this public domain. And what is with my paint? GPL, that is at least correct. Interesting. So Then let's emerge. So Firefox is still building, that is kind of sort of not a surprise, although single threaded now yeah, we need Zen 4, which probably in all multitasking we could double check if we can finally. Order that pre order that somewhere because obviously we need epic thread ripping. Somehow I have the feeling that is still not. Yeah, wop wop wow. So, what's with my paint? What is with. Um, I did the other. Maybe we simply didn't have some of the conflict because we newly created them. At least that is an at least somewhat some good use of epic thread ripping. Performance here, okay. That build, uh, yeah, the regular win win of all I wanted was GIMP. All we got was some additional packages. Did we not? I thought I changed. Did we miss type brush? Yes, best without typo. Nothing like adding some packages to one of the best Linux distributions live here on YouTube. Why does it say brushes 2.0? That sounds a little bit like there is. Can't mix this stuff up. Okay, let's see what GIMP needs. That is what we were actually after. Oops. Mm. What do I want to ah, write? So brushes. Ah, why? Why do we rebuild the RSVG? All right, set a chat file. We don't need that. We need at least one more G EXIF package. I saw that already last night. And in case you're wondering, I'm freaking 
tired today after last light shift. By the way, fun fact, I got a copyright claim. You make one freaking game video and all you get is a freaking copyright claim. You can't make this bloody nonsense up. So it looks like some someone that doesn't even have the copyright, at least that is how it looks to me, claimed it has content ID match for Google for the Monkey Island's theme song. And um, not even in all of the world, so only in some South American states, so much to probably totally shady content ID matching going on their copyright claims, um, getting there some free money. The thing is cl um, claiming that there is rather risky. I have to check mark, I can lose my YouTube account and stuff. And I like, thank you very much just because some random dudes bogus copyright claims. Let's see how that is going. So GIMP, uh, we wanted shortly, this needs another day, we had yesterday done briefly. Right? So what was with this brushes, they said 2.0, is there another version here? Or maybe they have, ah here is also 2.0. Okay, so there was a legacy update. Mm. Was it 202? Did that do something or? Oh, okay, that, wait a second, there is a typo somewhere. That's better. Welcome everyone. Greetings from Ukraine. Happy to see happy to hear that. Uh, glory to Ukraine, of course. Uh, how are you doing? Where are you exactly? And I hope you're safe and fine and Ukraine makes some good progress today. Um, cleaning your M4, you mean BMW M4? Happy you enjoyed that. So, um, brushes and then also what's up with GIMP needs probably, yeah, so GXF, so we need to check where that is coming from. Um, maybe we have that from A ports. Contract, do we have that here? We have that here. Where do we have the other EXIF stuff? In graphic, that sounds about right. So, because it wasn't contrived, that is why I deleted that there. Wait a second, EXIF, not with... Is that something else and I think it is? EXIF was written with F, huh? What is that even? Actually, I my brain autocorrected that to EXIF, but it's with V, not F. Hmm. Wait a second, what do we have? Oh, this is for an EXIF. Was EXIF not written with? No, I'm getting confused. EXIF? EXIF. And what is EXIF? Hmm. Okay, that is EXIF and other stuff. Okay, fine. Um, the question is if we should this move this rather to... That is always the thing. Um, should we move it to GNOME or is it from? Oh, it's on GNOME. Uh, then I guess we can. Did I ask you this already? Ah, oh, darn. Then we move it better there. Nothing like moving stuff two times around. Then I guess we also want. Uh, 
This is shared GNOME Conf. And uh, what else? Otherwise, I guess that probably looks quite okay. This was a copyright note. So Emerge is of course the more, well, to be rewritten and improved, but front end so that only builds stuff if it's newer and so on. So we can safely run that just to build this my paint brushes my paint potentially now that that probably maybe builds and then gxf to what is our firefox oh firefox epic thread ripped in 17 minutes i'm curious so we built that for i should have searched for that x86 and could also have been armor stuff and Firefox, so does it, what What was the, was the target, what was the name of the stuff that we deleted? Target Lexing, Lexicon, right, Lexicon. Okay, apparently, so it's also not in there, so probably it does not, it was not downloaded behind our back. I'm not sure if this stuff downloaded something. Maybe Firefox is so kind not to do that. So my paint, my paint stuff, amazing stuff, and then let's try GIMP again. Uh, did we build my GXF too? Okay, we'll see in a second. Do we have? Um, oh no, we don't. Darn. Um, for P in my paint, my lip, my paint, and paint brush. Do ah, oops. Copy the dependency cache. Ah, oh, that's the wrong. Mm. Okay, we can. Okay, we updated the cache then. That probably should be updated. So what's GIMP doing? Yeah, probably this wasn't in the config potentially again. Yeah, the config didn't. Maybe one day, I mean, this is a rare thing. I mean, except core maintainers adding packages uh, and even then, something else is usually new enough to regenerate this. Ah, except version 2, fair enough. And of course, the win win of test testing all this stuff. So, Firefox, I guess we can commit. Nothing like having the state of the art browser in your state of the art Linux distribution. Um, and then we finish with the GIMP stuff and then we actually step by step, one YouTube live stream a day, approach state of the art, everything up to date, check mark here. And I hope you enjoy this and learn something. So somehow the camera is in which direction, by the way, is it? Uh, oh no. Uh, is it, uh, uh. Or did I move that yesterday for Monkey Islands? I guess that probably was. So, GXF, amazing. So then, we have GIMP, GIMP we have there. So, then I guess next step, more fun with other architectures in the microkernel.
naturally, obviously. Also, by the way, for the views, I should have built that verbose. Somehow, always forget that. So, lip my paint, my paint brush, and my paint. Probably could, okay, there are quite some dependencies. What is here? That is, so this is what brush is. Yeah, that doesn't do much except it's just installing some data files, probably. It looks relatively reasonable. The one thing here looks a little bit much, but I mean, also not out of, well, this is a little bit more though, but not unreasonably so. So, um, so that is added. So this is only thing updated because we copied that so the, the script is confused by that or not better programmed. There. Now yeah, Kim starts to build, but then fails. Um, it could be I had that that might be some optimization. I had something crazy. This might not even be common there. Gim Python AP. Doc 7 been updated since 1999, it seems. Wouldn't surprise me. Um, I'm in general, I'm not the super most impressed by GIMP. Um, didn't really quite change much for me. Obviously, I'm aware of some changes in it, but actually, I, I would say 20 years ago, I was most productive with it. Um, the new UI, the, the window UI is, does not fit my style. I'm aware that they rewrote everything under the hood, but without even adding CMYK or not sure if they added 16-bit yet. There was even once an HDR fork. Um, I wonder if, like Cinepaint, do we even have this package still? Hey, we have this package. I wonder if we should delete this. This is probably a decade bit rotten. Yeah. I guess we could delete such stuff, couldn't we? I think this was like 16-bit or something. Um, yeah, win-win, delete this, huh? Does Alpine Linux has it? No, of course not. Probably doesn't even compile anymore. Obsolete or unmaintained. Yeah. Um, there goes that. And right, so this log, so this was some libm vector. recently added that to what would I have recently added that? Um, all right, maybe L, so that was dash L. All right, here somewhere that was some here. It might be that it is in that, we will see. It might be auto-generated, and now I'm speculating, I, I didn't check that, but it is possible that this is generated due to some of our OFAST optimizations or it is new glibc. Either way, it is failing. Do we even do we add this? I wonder if we should add all such hot fixes to the desk file. So maybe, hmm. Let's try that again this time for both because YouTube views. Obviously, you want to see the matrix. Uh, 
I guess theoretically uh, we should update all cache files from also by the way not. There is still a tiny little thing like Python, but do that another day. Um, there's only so much we can do with one open source hour a day. And let's first see if that even freaking builds TM. No, also nothing like building stuff with some warnings. Also, if some music, if some movie studio needs some matrix like IT scroll things, then please contact me. I'm not so this libm vec stuff it probably shouldn't be there like that, but uh, probably for to fine tune. Like basically, when the next time I build something with Musil or whatever, and but okay, this still didn't fix that. Or well, that is another thing. But that's a regular thing here, right? Um, what terminated quote and string. Um, that is most likely, which if is that even? Uh, that is a little bit annoying now. That is shell not being bash most likely, bin sh. Uh, the question, oops, oh, this was already dash one. Is this one or app? Hmm. Yeah, that's always annoying when you need to debug some nonsense like that. Um, are we not in app? Or did we? Where did we? Yeah, that is annoying to find where exactly it's coming from. Most likely in some make file. Or is it? Excuse me. Getting auto. Maybe they run that here. Do they run here some bin sh? Hmm. What is reverse found in? Key, uh, key, uh. Usually I have. Okay, fine, let's. Usually I have just like my own custom setup, key bindings and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, super annoying to find now. Um, I mean, we could for a check see if that goes away. Before we spend time on that, because currently that is dash, should be dash, why is this not a... Um, why is that not a zimling? Is there always something new I discover every day? No, that doesn't fix that. Probably there is some real strange bug somewhere. This is, of course, yeah, that is kind of worst case. It's like, what a waste of time. Everything is working except some shell nonsense. However, the this is hilarious. As if I have nothing better thing to do. Yeah, that that easily can waste like 30, 60 minutes guru meditation of just filling very exactly that shit happens here. This is just sad. I mean, we could try if potentially it is still this shell link and it goes away if, if we rebuild everything with bash. If it's already some code before run something that 
generated some truncated or differently escaped text string. But that's also a rare thing. We only have like a handful of packages that don't configure and build with bash. Yeah, that is that would be disappointing. At least everything else would be there to build GIMP and um, I wonder if we can override that. There is some config shell variable usually in auto conf configure script and stuff. No, that doesn't fix the shit. Um, yeah, more, more, more. Why does always such? I mean, I have no words anymore. Uh, I don't really want that each video becomes a run, but this is really disappointment, right? You put so much time and effort and dedication, and then at the end of the day, it's the last major package. It's like unterminated. It's like giving you a finger of like, thank you very much for trying to compile me. Um, and also only app, right? Um, everything else compiles and then this nonsense. Um, I mean, we could check if there's a new version or if other, we could first Google if we find other people with this problem, maybe someone likely run into, into that as well. Um, to 10, I have no idea. Probably they're even to 10, 8. What did we? To 1032 even. Ah, oh, that is the latest version, so. Um, I mean, we could always try to build the then previous version uh, to 10 year, just to see if they recently broke that. So that would be 30. I mean, I once upon a time last year built it, so all this breakage there is also new, I guess. just the blue shot, shot into the blue sky here if that cures something if you're super lucky most likely not though super user yeah nowadays you only f you find i mean obviously it's a common issue so um So I, I guess this sounds like that. Mm, sure, that is good. Now that we have a ports checked out, here, we could always see. Oh, we have some CVEs. Which version is that even? So okay, thank you very much. Also, what I really hate. Um, uh, some check update and stuff. What I really hate, oh, they have en enable MP. Um, also, wait a second, why does it sounds like old stuff here? Is this, I wanted to say if there are CVEs in there. Um, then um, it's always a shame when they don't release an upstream version, but it sounds even that this is probably 282, it sounds like old stuff here actually, um, people left in there. So mm, don't see here, do they have patches in there? They don't have a patch, so must have built for them sometime. Okay, that's totally okay so yeah, some proper guru meditation is in order, or different disablement. What does that do? They also build with disabled Python. I mean, some options there sound quite reasonable. I wonder if we... Ah, oh, we even have that, that one, at least. Um, we could try this one. That might be build-related, might actually 
potentially fix something of our stuff. Who knows where that is coming from? And this also does sounds quite interesting. Like some quite like debug console thing or so. Plus oops. Uh, This sounds a little bit like integrated update checker or something. Not sure if that is that, but maybe it is. Yeah, let's give it one more try, and if that doesn't build with this, this random options, then call it a day. There's only so much, like one hour at night and one hour a day, I can um, assign to my own Linux distribution world domination project here. Um, so nothing particularly useful except make check here, some other stuff, whatever. Um, yeah, but that's always... So it's a surprise to me, other distributions, I mean, we were late to run bin sh to, to not bash. Um, then I benchmarked that and found dash in, indeed is like like around 11% on average faster to configure stuff. And of course I want, but it's probably not even that. I want obviously 11% faster configure, but it's obviously doesn't look to be that issue. Um, that also doesn't, didn't fix anything there. Yeah, I would need to debug. Um, I mean, maybe the easiest that you learn something new and we, new and we don't even have um, one hour yet. How to debug that? I mean, one thing you could read the log. So by the way, we could first check if like sub -deers here, sub -deers dot. Um, App probably is the last one on this sub -tiers. Is it the same like? Oh, here's what was it? App, right? So I can't guarantee that this will work. Oh, this is also an app tools. So everything built except app and app tools. Thank you very much. Um, or any other. Um, I mean, App Tools is, is um, faster though. The rules to the target. Um, ah, it wants, ah, it wants lib app. Okay, that is a quick failure. But also, wait a second, it has, maybe we can still debug it with that because although this fails differently, it still has a syntax error on terminated quoted string. So if we run this with S trace, um, for forks and Lock that and potentially maybe the both. And then um, here's the right index around two minute quotes. So that is this process. And because uh, that is here some where is the fork and exec for that? Um, a map open at libc, where's exec f e, that's sort of usual, usual readability. Should have been before, shouldn't it? If I said, I wonder if that even is. App tools. 
What is that doing here? Syntax error. Um, mm. Is that this one? Is this just some echo? Is this just some interesting? Is that just some stupid output formatting shit? Um, yeah, it's about as annoying to debug as I expected it will be. What a waste of time. Amazing build systems, right? 24 freaking build systems and all. Suck, but. Oh, wait a second, this is anyway. I wonder if. Maybe it's only cosmetic and there is another error potentially. But maybe not. Yeah, it's probably not that. Um, yeah, that, that is not really a pain to debug. I mean, it's probably pointless to read the make file and try to manually find that. It could even be something like GNU org recently updated. Maybe it's even like we are is usually the first people where something happens. Oh, wait a second. Why is CC version? So maybe it's CC versions? Why is CC version? Is that right that this is so long? Why does it even need that? You can't mix this up. Don't tell me that it's a bloody CC version. I open my beach coffee sometime soon. Why do I do this? Why? How did I deserve this? Oh man. Um, I have no further. I, I rest my case. I have no further questions. I, I need I need some stronger stuff. Whiskey or I need the drugs in, in, in Silicon Valley or stuff. I need the drugs Apple is giving out for their programmers to endure their pick bucks. Um, um, I mean, maybe that is somehow cause. I mean, of probably thousand packages, how many do I have installed? Probably NeoFetch will tell me that, right? Um, with 1029 freaking patches, packages, plus minus, give or take. So the resolution is funny. <laughs> 640 by 480. <laughs> That's a good joke. Um, yeah, so with, with 1,000, with over 1,000 packages, like with with actually 25 of our freaking packages, of over 4,000, whatever, something, packages, um, all of those, nearly, mo nearly all of those packages build exact GIMP, which is doing such nonsense. Um, it is possible that it's somehow related to our GCC wrapper, potentially. Um, but also even the freaking Linux kernel gets to do that right. So... Um, yeah, how do we work around that? Um, but yeah, you can't make this. I, I wish I would make this up. Um, and for what do they need that? Uh, to, to show this bloody version in, in some about dialog or um, build dialog of, of build with that uh, version? Um, I'm speechless. Um, we, maybe we can. Uh, maybe we should actually query some proper version. Let's. Does that work? Maybe it does. Um, I wonder for what they need that. Oh, wait a second. There is some error. Oh, this is a log 10 stuff. Why do we get that now? Uh, why did we not get this other thing earlier? Because that is what we got earlier. This is also a little bit funny because... Because as far as I know, libm is integrated. Now I'm, now I'm curious, did we not initially we got an other error? Um, that is strange. Hmm. 
Oops. What was it? CC version? Oh. Yeah, we could query that. Um, um, I think I will hard code this for now. Let's see x dot y. You should freaking not care. Um, and see what breaks and see if that is enough there. Um, I reckon everyone. Greetings to South America. Thank you for your compliments. Yeah, I mean, the crazy thing is, oh no, we have a real index error. Um, the crazy stuff is, I liked GIMP more. Oh, do we need this with quotes? That is a good question. Let's see what happens. Um, I liked GIMP more 20 years ago. Um, I'm not sure how much you can dial the new interface, the new windowed interface back. And also they made, in my opinion, I mean, but I, I understand it. On one, on one hand, I would say they didn't make really that much, made that much progress. They re rewrote everything and yet there is barely new features. I was a heavy power, GIMP power user 20 years ago. Um, before most people even used like 1998, not making this shit up, like, like seriously 1998. Um, like GIMP, GIMP 1, whatever, or maybe it was even GIMP 0 0.98 or something of that sort, whatever was out in 1998. Um, but since then, it didn't really make anything for me better, building certainly, eh, and stuff, more complex and so on. I didn't even like the interface anymore. So I was, I mean, sure, I didn't use it. I only used it casually after I was a power user 20 years ago. I only used it casually the last years. Um, and when, you, when I used it casually, GIMP the last years, I it was always extremely slow. Um, I'm I'm literally faster with Pixel Mater on Mac, and that is also there is the difference, right? The GIMP people, hundreds if not thousands of developers, work on an open source thing for twenty years, and yet there is some small six people or, or maybe even initial two people, or then later six people or so. Who knows? I don't know how many people this Pixel Mater team in the meantime is on on Mac. Um, and like overtakes GIMP like within years on, on Mac anyway. And obviously Pixelmator, if you haven't used it on Mac, also maybe most of you don't have a Mac or a Hackintosh to try it out. Um, Pixelmator is so much more visually, um, like with the real time previews and stuff. Yeah, so we had to build it um, with, with totally nonsense, like, like stuff that shouldn't be like that. Um, but anyway, here we have it. Um, yeah, the amount of quirks, this, this quirks are hilarious. I mean, this is like, this are the most, also dash, the, the crazy stuff is the dash L, lib M is as far as I read. I didn't check it, but my, I thought lib M is now included in glib C. Also, I have a typo there. Nothing like finding a typo live on your YouTube live stream, copy and paste and so um, So, what did I want to say? Um, Features, updates, build. Yeah, no, I saw a typo and that brought me out of, my, of that spin. Anyway, um, yeah, this quirk shouldn't be like that. That, that is a ridiculous required quirk. Um, even I, after, and this is a, that is a crazy thing, right? Why I also turn to YouTube and why I understand my live streams are at times a little bit critical, but more people should be more honest with themselves and like seriously like nobody would pay for GIMP. Um, people pay for Pixel Mater um, and maybe that is also where the open source people should take some more good examples from and even I I mean I'm 25 year veteran user and I mean I like the UI less today and building that is like I I'm getting so frustrated of what the people YOLO together there in their makefile basement that it even makes me smash my precious Sun Type 6 keyboard into my face. Um, yeah, people, I think open source people are even a little bit arrogant, I would say. I was thinking they are the best in, in, the, in the reality for 20 years, again, progress and trying to build this with the most bizarre build errors. Um, even I have seen in 25 years. Anyway, um, I wonder how, so today we stream, I, I guess Vodafone after six years complaining and my, videos about that self-destruction 
made them finally fix something because now we can actually freaking stream with 5 Mbit, um, surprisingly. So that is a new thing, and that, that, that didn't happen in three years. So I hope that is constant because that obviously makes this matrix like scrolling much more um, fluid on the live stream and sharp and stuff. Um, hot hacked GIMP to actually free can build TM. And enable some figure options by default. Yeah. Inspired from Alpine Linux. Anyway, hey, my working copy on my new portable road warrior SSD is completely flushed. Is that not amazing? And everything is um, in trunk and in a hopefully amazing state that you can now even freaking build um, GIMP and Inkscape. Actually, last but not least, we should update some um, cache files now that we have some cache files. Actually, wait a second. We we want to actually wait and we, we need more to do this. Um, why is that not the zoom link? And so yeah, the more you test and attention details, the more you find, even in your own stuff, through whatever means that occurred. Also, we could probably check that. Is it in dash? No, but that is a zoom link. Hmm. Whatever happened there. So what did I want to do, right? I wanted to update um, cache files. So um, for, let's say we want to update everything where GTK is inside. Um, in var ADM cache. Um, and then field, like delimiter Z, field one, unique, best with, where is, what is now, or best with cut. And that is certainly quite some. And then cut delimiter slash field. By the way, does it work? Maybe it oh, doesn't. Would be cool if it would work though. That is field four, uh, four, five. Uh, that is unique, right? Should be unique. And then while read p to copy. cache file to the package cache file. Okay, there's our scroll scraper. Um, no package. Why did that leave a cache file then? So that updated quite some files. Oh, only 38. Um, for your better emerge packages from source experience playing along at home. Let's just quickly scroll a little bit so that it doesn't make stuff significantly worse. So that should be at times a decade newer, yeah, 2010. No surprise there. All the fine grained dependencies. Uh, let's we should actually more often scroll from the back because then we have a control G um, percentage. So what what I'm looking for here is like if there's like like dozens of chaotic self dependencies, like everything depending on each other, which at times they are here, which is using usually files, shared directories, or like updated cache files. I think it's mostly fine. Um, it's usually, I mean, some are, what, what, what is it even popular? It's like the extra CMAC modules that doesn't look right though. 
No, that does not look right. We probably need to rebuild that. Should we rebuild that quickly? How many? That's probably before I fixed recently. Um, let's let's grab MK spec in var tip debug. Yeah, that is. Oh wait, this is not the right one. We want QMake. Um, ah, there is some, and then we also want to specs, and then something with dot p what it was project or stuff. Yeah, like that. Um, so how many are this? Qt5, Qt5 connectivity. There are not that many though, and not what I was just looking at. Mm, doesn't really look that much. I guess I committed like that. Doesn't does not look worth it. I fixed that already. That over dependency building stuff. How many ninety percent? Yeah. Build by build, um, this will improve so that we have sooner or later. I guess in other words, it looks somewhat okay ish. So, within months, we should have hopefully perfect dependencies, last famous last words. Um, which did I even copy here? Ah, GTK, yeah, that makes sense. Because also we renamed quite some GTK stuff, including the new GTKMM stuff from the other night. Um, did I even press the right button? Uh, probably not. So I'll press G, I'm not sure what G without control does. Yeah, and then we only need to tune our data. Oh, here's Pango also removed. Uh, also, yeah, some we anyway need to um, check, like this Bonobo stuff. I have question marks whether that is actually still used somewhere. Also, maybe with some old GT uh, GNOME 2 forks of Cinnamon and stuff. I'm wondering the GTK plus N2 are in here. Um, some look potentially, maybe this is also still needs, needs some investigation. But that is for another day. Okay, oh shit, now I pressed. Oh, by the way, I pressed F, not G. But I think it's mostly fine. It's not like I recently fixed some global dependency clobbering stuff. What is that here? Gnome shell. Okay, obviously Gnome shell has quite some dependencies. It makes somewhat sense. I also wonder, here's for example, all of AT SPI removed. I also need to, just, I need to check, there is still some shared file thing with this AT uh, SPI stuff. I guess I commit this like this. It's, oh, yeah, I scrolled multiple times back and forth. Looks mostly okay. So that all of this build efforts are saved for your dependency resolution at home. Um, the only, what did I just say? Um, I don't know, I should have done this. What did I just say? Ah, ATSPI. So there was some... Yeah, so... Which one is the right package here? So that is ATSPI course. This is how it is named ups, upstream 246. Oh, I didn't. 
Night shift, sorry. Um, but this is, ah, here is ATSPI 80K. So that is 132. Okay, that is 1 and 2. Um, 127840 um even that looks mm. yeah i need to check that doesn't this, i think they look like we might need them both not not exactly sure what's going on there maybe one built its internal copy or one, something that nonsense so yeah then that's it um amazing progress every day month and year here live on this channel I hope you learned something and enjoyed this. Don't forget to share and subscribe, Patreon, GitHub, sponsorship or stuff. And otherwise, have a good day, stay healthy, glory to Ukraine and see you next time.